Cut that's the fuck off. That's an insecurity. Thing. Insecurity, yes. That's an insecurity thing. You can't be around people like that, bro. They get people like that are dangerous, bro. Dangerous, bro. One thing I was told, even with my brothers, is was like, we don't even argue in public because now y'all don't look like a unit. And now someone can come in between that. Yeah. If I argue with my sisters, I got beat. Like, it was, no, it's you protect them. You guys are, uh, like you said, soldiers and mercenaries. Yeah, yeah mercenaries. It's, it's like that. What does what your, your army look like? Can we infiltrate this? I would never call, talk like a group of people and argue with my friend, bro. I'm going to, like, wait till we get by ourselves and be like, bro, that wasn't cool what you did. But I'm not going to put it out in public look like we're yes, not bro. a unit. I don't like when people do that. And guess when dudes do that? In front of females. Yeah, I can't yeah, stand yeah. dudes can't like wait, that. Like, can't wait, dude. Bro, dudes be clowning you and trying to be... You don't even talk like that, dog. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. People like that, you can't be... Bro, I cut that's the fuck, an ego, That's an insecurity. Thing. Insecurity, yes. That's an insecurity thing. You can't be around people like that, bro. They get people like that are dangerous, bro. Dangerous, bro. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS, whom I learned from. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect, preach this word and truth and sincerity scattered abroad. <clears throat> and uh, shalom to you sisters out there learning silence and staying in order. Right? These uh, men here were uh, speaking facts because, um, you know, as a unit, you know, uh, you gotta you gotta move in accord uh, in accordance, right? You know when when uh, Yahweh Shai was um, you know uh, basically expelling demons, the Pharisees said that he was using Satan to do these things, man. And he said that a house divided cannot stand, right? So when we out there, especially if you're in a camp, uh, it shouldn't be. You shouldn't be uh, arguing with uh, uh, your brothers and stuff like that um, because you guys got to be on one accord, one movement. You know what I'm saying? So there shouldn't be no uh, schisms, right? There shouldn't be no schisms in the body, you know? And, and, and a lot of times, you know, I know that, you know, brothers sometimes come into disagreements you know, a lot of these things could, uh, are, are are basically easily solved. You know, and you shouldn't really leave a situation, especially if you're in a camp with brothers. You shouldn't leave a situation without resolving it. Right? The scriptures say that do not let the sun go down in your wrath. Um. So, so it is imperative that you uh, try to uh, hash it out. That is the uh, recipe that we were given. Right, we we shouldn't be uh, it's definitely uh, uh, strifing in front of other people as well. More importantly, over women. You know, if you're hanging out and you know there's women there, you all you know trying to uh, have a good time. You know, you don't make little little comments and jokes about a brother just to make a, a female laugh, man. You know, those people, those people, those are not brothers. I don't think anybody in the truth is doing that. But if if you if you point if you if you have somebody that's around you like that, you know it's best you check that you know ASAP. You know, and if you have friends in the world, we shouldn't you shouldn't have friends in the world. You know, but if you if you if you're around in a situation where you are, uh, you know, at a barbecue with family and friends um, for whatever reason, and you see that, just move away, man. Don't don't partake in these things, man, because they do happen a lot. It's sad, but it, it, not everybody has the same mind, right? We'll go to the book of let's see, Second Ezra, four, twenty-six. It says, then answered he me, and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou marvels. For the wait, Salakia, this is the wrong Salakia. It's first Ezra's. Four and twenty six. Let's go. It says, uh, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Right, 
So you 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 basically are are ill talking uh, another uh, brother just for the sake of serving this woman by making her laugh. You have become a comedian, right, for the sake of uh, shitting on your brother. It says twenty seven. Many also have perished, right? Because you you would definitely perish uh, if you keep that up. You know the Lord the Lord. Um, the Lord's mercies are, are, are still here, you know, as long as Yahweh ain't back. But, you know, if you get caught, you know, lacking like this, and if you haven't repented from this, man, you could be destroyed for it. Many also have erred, have, have perished and have erred and sinned for women. Right? How many murders and things like that have happened over women you know it's a, the, a lot of the the the, the old school uh, like blood and crip fights back in california started over a woman and that fight has uh extended throughout the world that fight over a woman these these two gangs are fighting you know in different states and has nothing to do with that neighborhood and are still fighting over that and it's been over 40 years it says many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. Sad man, doing all this, all this for clout and women. I'm sick of this place. This is the book of Sirach, chapter six. Verse one, instead of a friend, become not an enemy, right? You don't have to be friendly with everybody. You don't have to be, you know, go out of the way. You know, but don't become an enemy, right? You don't have to be a friend, but don't become an enemy. So watch your mouth and watch what you do and treat others like you want to be treated, right? For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, right? You're going to be known as this person that cannot be trusted, cannot be brought around females or just you know uh a feminine man or whatever it is you know you're gonna get an ill name for that so for there thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name shame and reproach right wherever you go you be, oh don't tell him nothing oh here we go don't bring this guy around you know what i mean nobody's gonna want you around even so shall a sinner that has a double tongue right because that that person would joke and, and say jokes in front of a female, but then, you know, when the female leaves, you guys are buddy-buddy and, you know, everything's all good. Or at least it seems. Right? He's a double tongue. He acts like your friend one way, and then another way, he just shits on you. Jumping down to verse 7, if thou wouldst get a friend, prove him first. Right? Don't call that person a friend until you know for sure. Don't bring him around. Don't do these things until you prove him first. It says, and be not haste to credit him, right? Don't be quick to be like, oh, man, this guy's a good dude. You know, trust, you know, it's stolen this person to the clouds without really, really getting to know this person. For some man is a friend for an occasion, right? Friends will only come around when they need you. Right, but when they can't get nothing from you, they're never around. Says so and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Right, when you, when you need them, right, they don't, they don't come around unless you got bitches. Right, then they'll go out of their way to do that. They go out of the way to make it there. Right, but they wasn't there when you needed them. Right, verse nine. And there is a friend who, being turned into enmity and strife, will discover thy reproach. Right, so this person that was friends with you. You know, when you guys have an issue, all of a sudden, he goes out of his way to dirty your name and to talk ill, bad about you and all these things. Man. That's why in the first verse, it says, instead of a friend, become not an enemy. Right? You don't got to be a friend, but don't be an enemy. Just walk away. And that's all I want to say on that, man. Shalom. Uh, my whole brothers is, uh, you know... Uh, you know, maintaining and staying the head above and just staying sucker free, man. That's the goal. You know, it's a, this ain't the time that we're in to be friendly. You know, we're in the last days. 
we really, really got to focus on, you know, the goal. The goal is to, you know, make it on the chariots. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.